What's up guys, Vegas Dave, and I've had a lot of people reach out to me and ask me why my relationships never work, why never settle, and why never stay in relationships that long at all. You know what, so I'm gonna create a vlog for you guys to inspire people to stop selling in relationships you're not happy with. By the end of this video, you'll see what my biggest pet peeve in relationships are, and I hope to let you guys know, don't settle for less. If you're not happy, get the fuck out of your relationships. What's up guys, Vegas Dave here. And a lot of people around the world always ask me, why don't I last in relationships? And you know, what's the key factor that always keeps me from pushing away or breaking away from relationships? You know, a lot of people always used to call me the rotate guy because I wouldn't last long with women. And a lot of people perceive that as, I just wanted to sleep with women and move on to the next, which was not true. You know. Everybody in life, believe it or not, even myself, would love to find true love. You know, everyone dreams of having that one life partner who's your teammate, your lover, your best friend, and even your business partner, your soulmate. It's very hard to find that. And someone like me, I never settle and I never settle for less and I always have an open mind. So a lot of people always ask me, is like, why do you only last a week, two weeks, maybe a month? If, if stretching it, why do you only last such short durations of time, Dave? And the reason is, is that I, I won't settle. And by the end of this video, I wanna inspire a couple of people out there, maybe one or two people that are un unhappy in their relationships to get out of their comfort zone and don't settle for a relationship you're not happy in. But back to the point of this video is that the, the main thing that I look at when I date a girl's appreciation or reciprocation. I'm a giver. I'm a fucking giver. Whatever you want to perceive me on the internet as of being someone, understand that only the true people, my true friends, my family, my loved ones, my close friends know how, much, how generous I am, the generosity I have of such a big heart. I'm a giver. I will give you 120%, just give me 5%. I'll take you to a 10 star dinner, just buy me a taco from Taco Bell. I don't ask for much. My biggest pet peeve is appreciation. If I do something for a girl, I take her on a date, and she doesn't say thank you for dinner, she's fucking done. Look, a simple thank you, because if a girl doesn't have those values on the first date, I'm done. I'm very observant. A lot of people understand on the first date, I'm interviewing them like, hey, how old are you? What do you want to do for your career? Tell me about your family upbringing. You know, how many kids do you want? Do you have a cat? Because I fucking hate cats. Do you smoke? You know, they don't even understand that I'm do having a full interview on them. Well, they don't, because I can flow so well in a conversation, it's just a skill I have is communicating, but they don't even know I'm interviewing them, so I know by the end of the first date if I'm gonna see them again or, or never see them again. But again, appreciation is so important to me. You know, recently I was dating a girl who I really, really, really liked. I really thought she was my soulmate. I was super excited. You know, she was cute, pretty, and besides the look, she was smart. She, she had a lot going on for her, you know, and I just thought she had a great personality, and she was a girl I thought, I thought that I could build my empire with, like bring her into in my business. You know, any woman I date, I don't want them working a job. When we get married or we're in a serious relationship, I want them to be part of my empire. I want them to help build the Vegas State brand and, and enjoy some of the money that I'm making, you know, and I want us to work together as a team. And this is a girl I really thought I could build a future with. But the problem is I felt unappreciated. You know, nothing against her. I think she's a great girl. We, we broke up on great terms and I have a lot of respect for her. So there's nothing bad to say about a certain person, but it's a great example of why I left the relationship. You know, so I take this girl on, you know, when I'm with the girl, I wine them, I dine them. They are treated like a queen. You know, I take them to Cabo, they stay in my villa, they wake up with a butler, they wake up with a massage, they, we have a per personal driver, we get catered first class on the beach, uh, VIP, anything that I want, snap of a finger, I get and I give to my girl. You know, we eat every night a thousand dollar dinner, five hundred dollar dinner. There's no restaurant we can't go to. When I'm with you or I'm dating you, you can have anything you want. I'm a foodie, we can wine and dine eat anywhere. But if you can't say thank you, I'll never talk to you again. Now, I'm not saying this girl didn't say thank you, she did say thank you, but there's a point in time when you're dating where I believe a woman should pay for a meal. At least offer to pay for a meal. You know, I dated this girl for a month or so, month and a half, took her to Cabo three different times, every single time, paid for everything. Air, airfare, you know, food, massages. You wanna go get a spa day? Best spa in Cabo, $1,500. You wanna go see the whole, you wanna see Cabo in a helicopter? $2,500 for a 45 minute ride, no problem. Anything you want, 
I will do because if I'm into you, I give you 120%, I give you 200%. But there's a certain point where you need to offer. If I've taken you to 10 dinners at $1,000, don't you think it's fair that you take me and you offer to buy me a fucking meal? I mean, at least open your fucking purse, right? But you know what? I believe in a relationship, it's teamwork. Yes, I'm the breadwinner. I don't expect another girl to make a million dollars a month or make the income I make. But if you're making 40, 50,000 or 100,000 a year, you can take me to dinner. You need to show some reciprocation. Now, if you are broke and I'm dating you and you don't have money, that's fine. A simple massage after, hey Dave, I don't make a lot of money like you. I can't afford to take you to a $500 dinner, but how about I give you a massage for an hour because you've been pretty stiff lately? Or how about I wake up and I cook you a nice breakfast or I cook you a nice dinner? That's all I want. I think most men out there are nodding their head that have money, they agree. They just want some form of appreciation because not every girl can compete with the type of money I make or other successful people out there make, but all we want is appreciation and some reciprocation, that's it. A thank you, even a nice card to, hey Dave, I just wanna let you know, thank you for treating me like a queen last night. I love you, you're great. I know I can't afford to take these dinners, but I wanna tell you how much I appreciate you. Boom, that would've made my day. But the most important thing, guys, it's teamwork. If I'm gonna take you to 10, 20 dinners, you gotta buy me a dinner. If I'm gonna take you around the world, buy me some fucking popcorn at the movie. I don't ask for much. So what I wanna tell people out there is that don't settle. I know what I want. I want someone that I can build an empire with. I want someone that I can build a future with. And it takes teamwork, it takes two. And again, when people ask me why doesn't it work, it's because I observe. I'll take you one Cabo trip. I'll see if you say thank you. I'll see if you even offer to pay the bill. I'll take you to another dinner. I'll take you on a helicopter ride. I'll take you on trips around the world. But by the third trip, if you don't offer and you don't bring anything to the table, I drop you. And when I call these girls and say I'm done, it's like dropping the fucking atomic bomb on them. They have no clue. They're like, what the fuck? We were just in Cabo for Valentine's Day and two days later you're dumping me? Hey, I'm very observant. I keep my mouth closed. I give everyone an open chance. I give them five, six, seven chances, hoping they'll change. And their excuse is, oh, I wish you would have communicated with me. Well, you know what? I do believe communication is very important, very essential in a successful relationship. However, if you're a grown woman, you're over 30, close to 40, if you don't have the values of reciprocating, appreciating, and understanding maybe after two or three trips that you should offer to buy a meal, I can't help you. I can't communicate that to you because that's in your DNA. That's the values you were installed growing up as a youngster. Your parents, your grandparents, they taught you those values. So how can I teach someone at 30, 35 years old, say, hey, Michelle, hey, Veronica, I think you should offer to buy me a meal. I can't communicate that with you because if you don't have those values after living for 30 years, how can I teach you that in one month? Okay, so that's why I don't work in relationships. So other women out there, if you're looking to date a successful man, a lot of you guys, girls are afraid to because you think you don't have enough money. Guys like me, we don't expect you to buy us shit. Just give us a massage, cook us a meal, say thank you, write us a card, take us to a movie, say thank you, I don't have money, but you know what? I cooked this meal for you. Guys like us just wanna see appreciation. So that's my biggest pet peeve, is when I feel unappreciated, and that's why I drop girls like it's hot after the second or third date. Now if I can inspire one person, two, three people out there, and I know you're watching me right now, both male and female, if I can just inspire you guys to learn something from me, not settle, I'll be very, very happy. That's the whole point of me doing this vlog, is to tell you guys out there not settle. I know there's someone out there right now that you know that your wife's cheating on you. There's someone out there right now that you know that you're cheating on your wife. You're, there's people out there watching right now that you're together because you're comfortable and you don't think you're gonna find anyone better. Or you're together because you don't wanna disappoint the children you have. Why fucking settle? You have one life. You know what, I, the reason I'm so blessed and grateful is that you know I decided to build my empire first, then start dating. Where all my friends I grew up with all made babies, pumped out kids, and now they're struggling at forty to $50,000 a year careers, doing the same shit over and over again, where I have financial freedom, now I'm looking to find the one. Now, what I'm telling people is this, is that you, got, you can't settle. Why be with someone that you know that cheats on you? Why be with someone that you're not truly in love with? Most people's biggest fear is being alone, but remember this, if you can't be alone, that means you can't love yourself, so how can you love someone else? And I was guilty of this, if you followed my journey 10, 
Five, 10 years ago, I was out every fucking night. You know what? I didn't love myself back then. My vice was going out, popping bottles, surrounding myself with fake friends and hooking with the hottest chicks because I couldn't be alone. I wasn't comfortable with myself. I didn't love myself. I love myself a lot now. You know why? You can't pay me to go to a fucking nightclub. You can't, it just sounds miserable to be out past two o'clock in the morning. Unless I'm creating content for my YouTube channel or creating content that's gonna uh, make me money for my business and filming stuff like that, then I'll be out. But otherwise, I'll never step out at night because you know what? I love being alone. I can be alone. That's how I know I'm, I'm at peace with myself. Many of you guys out there can't be alone, so you settle, you wanna be with someone. You're making a big mistake. Remember, you have one life. Don't settle and don't be with someone. You know, you know how many of my friends tell me, it's like, Dave, I can't, I can't meet you today because my wife's a fucking bitch. Or, oh my God, I can't stand my fucking girlfriend. She's such a bitch. I listen to these people and say, why the fuck are you in a relationship with a woman you call a bitch? How can you love someone that you call a bitch and complain about? Me, I want to be proud of my wife. I want to wake up to my wife or girlfriend and say, God damn, I want to have sex with her. She's so beautiful. God damn, she's a fucking queen. God damn, she's the most beautiful girl in the world. God damn, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have this woman. That's the feelings I want to have. But a lot of people out there don't have those feelings. They can't stand their significant other. But they don't want, they all settle. They don't think they can find anyone else and they don't want to get out of their comfort zone. And I always say, to get a little bit in this world, you need, a little, you need to get a little bit uncomfortable to get comfortable. I'll repeat that in this world, in business and life and relationships, you need to get a little bit uncomfortable to get comfortable, which means you might have to be alone. You might have to break away the girl from the girl you've been dating on and off for six years. You know what? You're with that girl on and off for six years because you don't want anyone else to have her. You, you give her hope and shut her down. You bang her in the side. You're good to her when she's about to find someone else to reel her back in. And then you kick her to the curb when you feel comfortable. You're just fucking with their emotions. And hey, girls do this with guys. Both guys and girls are both guilty of this. But you do this because you're fucking selfish because you, you're not happy with that person, but you don't want anyone else to be happy with that person. So you don't want to let them go. You're selfish. What you need to do is be able to realize that you need to love yourself, be able to be alone and be happy being alone before you find someone else. Listen, I've always in the past looked for people and what did happen? End up with a waitress that lasted two weeks. You know, when you look for love and you look for, when you look for love, it usually doesn't happen. I always tell my friends this, it amazes me, and this is not the brag, and I know it sounds pretty gross, but I can't remember the last time I went out where I never got laid. I can't remember the last time I went out to a nightclub, a bar, a restaurant with a girl, and came home alone. I don't know, if, you know, I tell my friends, is it candid camera on me? Like, is this a joke? Like, how does it happen again? I don't even try. And I just really believe that's the act of confidence, Secure, a girl can smell confidence. A girl can uh, smell security. A girl can uh, smell confidence, security, and just someone that just is at peace with themselves. I think that's what's attract, attract a lot of women to me is because I don't give a fuck. And, I don't, and I, it still blows my mind how I close deals every single time I go out. I tell my friends, hey, I'm going out tonight. I hope I don't get laid. And they scratch their head and say, you know what, Dave? You know how stupid that sounds? Like, we take a shower, we get a haircut, we shave, we get our special cologne, we get a brand new outfit to go out, hoping we get laid. I just go out with a t-shirt, jeans, and a hat just to entertain my friends, make sure everyone has a good time, and I'm not even looking for girls. And it's like, I just pick who I want to go home with. So the whole point of this is to tell you that when you're not looking and you're comfortable being alone, the woman will come. Stop chasing, stop settling, and learn something from this. Because remember, if I would have settled with all the girls I dated, I'd probably have like 30 kids, and I'd be broke as a joke. I know my self-worth. I know my net worth. Just like you watching right now, there's a lot of you guys that are, like I said, in a relationship that you're not happy with, but you're settling because you don't want no one else to have her, or you don't think you can find anything better. The same people out there, you're working a nine to five job, and you think you should be paid 100,000 a year, right? But your boss is only paying you 40,000 a year. You're settling your self-worth and your net worth, and you're too afraid to ask for a raise, or you're too afraid to pick up your shit and go get another job because you're comfortable. You're afraid. You settle for your jobs and income because everyone out there all believe they should get paid more than what their boss pays, right? You're watching me right now. You know that your boss is underpaying you, but you still decide to go there. You also date women that treat you like shit or you're in a relationship with someone that treats you like shit, but you won't go elsewhere because you don't want to get out of your comfort zone. So if I can inspire anybody out there right now that's unhappy with their relationship, unhappy with their job, 
pick up your fucking shit out of your cubicle and get the fuck out today. And if you're in a relationship you're not happy with, write her a goodbye note, pick your shit up, put it in a suitcase, and get the fuck out and bounce. The whole point of this is inspire people, don't fucking settle on your relationships and in, and in your future success. All right guys, this concludes my vlog about why not to settle in life, especially in relationships, and why I never last relationships. You know what guys, if I can just inspire one of you guys out there that's watching me right now, if you're unhappy in your fucking relationship, pick up your fucking shit and get the fuck out and stop selling for fucking less. Also, for other free content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, It's Vegas Day TV. Click that bell on the top there, that's my notification bell, so you're notified every single time I provide free content. Comment below and let me know if you want me to talk about other dating topics or any other business topics. All this is for you. Have a good day and don't fucking settle.